Welcome to the next video in this silicone rubber series. Here we're going to be looking at the silicone rubber extrusion process. Now silicone rubber can be forced through a shaped die, or generally a stainless steel disc with a pattern cut out to produce cords, tubes, complex profiles and cross sections. This process is called extrusion. You can see a good example of some extrusions some different profiles here. Let's have a quick look at the top level process. So the silicon extrusion process begins with blending a two part silicon gum stock on a two roll mill to produce a homogeneous silicon. At this stage, a color master batch can also be added to create the desired color silicone. Now I've got a quick video here that shows mixing of the color with that silicone. So let's have a look now. So you can see here we've got a the raw silicone as the clear and obviously they're making their blue as the master batch color. You can see this being processed and eventually we'll have one homogeneous silicone product which is consistent in color. This gets continually fed through these rollers until it's complete. So the silicone is then formed into strips and fed continuously into the extruder. A variable speed screw feed maintains proper pressure at the pin and die. Finally, the extrusion passes through an oven that cures the product with radiant heat. Let's have a look at the uh, silicon extrusion process step by step. So one, the silicon compound is fed into the extruder. The next step involves feeding the materials in the feed hopper. The material is then fed into different flutes present in a revolving screw. The screw will start carrying the rubber into the die forward with the rise in the temperature and pressure as the material gets closer to the die. The silicone is then forced through the extrusion die to form the required profile. And finally, the extruded profile passes through an oven that cures the product with that radiant heat. Extruded rubber is used in a wide variety of industrial and consumer applications from sealant solutions to rubber bumpers. The method of producing silicone is similar to that of other rubbers, but its naturally high heat resistance requires higher processing temperatures during the extrusion process. You can see a good cross section of medical tubing here. Let's have a look at some of these silicone material types. So we've got GP as general purpose, HT, which is high tear, FR, flame retardant, THT, which is high temperature. We've got LCH for low smoke and toxicity, FS, which is fluorosilicone, and TS, which is tough silicone. So why would you choose silicone extrusions for your application? Well, silicone has some unique properties that make it preferable to other materials in some specific circumstances. And these include excellent temperature resistance with standard ranges from minus 60 degrees C to plus 200 degrees C and higher temperature grades available if required. Flexibility and integrity, helping to keep its shape and maintain a perfect seal. Resistance to oil, chemicals, heat and water, and it's available in any color you require. Don't forget to check out our other videos in this series, as well as other material series. You can contact us if you need any help with your projects in China. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. When you see this little bell symbol, make sure you hit that because that will notify you every time we upload new content. Thanks for listening. My name's Paul Adams from Softeast, and I shall see you in the next video.